Hi, Cancers. This reading is a general energy check just of what is coming in for this upcoming week, the last week of February, February 26th to the beginning of March. In addition to the daily ones, let's just go and see the overall environment that you'll be in the energy off of that and let's see the energy off of you and if there's any messages that you should be aware of or anything coming your way just overall like a temperature check for the week so I'm going to shuffle this a few more times cancers and then we'll get into it For you, the Hierophant, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, the Fool, Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. see the environment too and then we'll get into the cards. This actually looks exciting. We have four cards here. Major happenings. Let's go and take a look on the environment. Six of Cups. So this is like internal to you, and this will be external. Six of Swords. King of Swords. Ace of Cups. Four of Swords, Four of Wands, Cancers. Let me just do a look at these. It's quite amazing how we have our two tens, two sixes two fours interesting okay so cancers first of all what I'm seeing well knowing your environment people want to approach you they're determined to meet you. They're definitely determined to meet you. With the Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups here, Cancers, what I'm seeing is that you have both the new and old energies wanting to meet you. What I am seeing by the King of Swords and the Four of Swords, even the Six of Swords, Six of Swords is movement though is that in addition to wanting to meet you they're planning on you you have many people right now
coming to you, you're going to go through a social scene. Right now it's quiet. Because this is building. This is step one. Step one of coming. Step one of planning. Step one of approaching in your environment. I will say that your environment overall, I'm not seeing anything overall particularly disruptive or anything that you have to maneuver around in the Four of Wands and Four of Swords energies. Also too with these cards being at the bottom of our stack, they're firm foundations. I also have to say I really love the way, well, it's curious. I do love the way that the Ace of Cups is aspected along with the Four of Wands. The Six of Swords I think is curious because it definitely, you do have past energy coming in here, but this also could be yourself as well looking for the future, looking towards your own self, your own, your own priorities. So overall that is what I'm seeing in your environment there are past people that you have a past past people are thinking of you you definitely have new people coming overall I see this as a period of you to go and really solidify yourself for when you're going to be busy like take advantage of the time that you have right now where you're not where you have free time to do those little things that perhaps make it overlooked if you were busier. Because there is changes coming on your energy cancers, what I'm seeing. It's actually very interesting here with the Ten of Swords and our Ten of Pentacles. Our Ten of Swords and energy of the Eight of Wands in the energy of the Hierophant. You've made a decision. And now that you've made it, it's like the end. I feel as well from the energies that I see in your particular collective that this end is not really one that has, that involves people more on a mental, the mental plane. You've decided to go and completely let go. Let go for a new start. Let go to find your true people. The true people who will support your household. The true people who will truly love you and the true people who I'm going to aspect this king in this uh, six of cups I'm going to clarify these but there's something about the past energy here like determination with the past energy it's not as fresh as an ace of cups and a four of wands it's not you have fresh energy here fresh intentions. You're like finally being comfortable too in your own skin with your own thoughts. Being able to go out and explore, be open again. Whatever the situation is, Cancers, this painful ending that I feel is really just the ending that you've come to on a mental level you know that's that's over now you're on to the next phase you've made your peace with it there's so many great great new things out there to go and get okay I'm gonna go and clarify these so we'll just do a, a little clarifier let's go and check out the energies of these I'm going to check see this king of swords I want to try this king this six of cups 
I'm just going to try the Six of Swords to see if this is this is your environment. Is this you moving through your environment or is this someone coming to you? And if so, is it related to that? So let's just take a little peek. King of Swords is clarified by Six of Pentacles. Somebody wants to offer you an equal balance. But if I threw another card on that, it would be a romance. Let's see. Justice. Sun. Actually, no, I, cause I, I'm not getting past person from this. This could actually be a life partner. Six of Pentacles, to me, always feels like the minor arcana's version of justice. Typically. Especially in relationships. The sun. I think this is a new person. A new person who will put in... Who has a determination to do things right by you. And with the sun here, life partner life partner, all these aspects. And let me say together with a king of swords energy. Getting someone who's responsible, who's honest, who wants to do his very best by you or her, if it's a woman coming in the king of swords energy. I'm just calling them as I see them. Ace of Cups energy. I'm curious about that Ace of Cups, Cancers. Knight of Swords. It's coming in fast. We don't need to know anything more about that. Uh, let's see the Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Knight of Cups. This is a former love. Cancers, a former love is coming back into your energy. That's a general temperature check on that. I'm going to see the Six of Swords, if this refers to you, opportunities, is it career, let's see, Six of Swords, clarify, page, I feel this is, is this work, shall we take a closer look and see, within your work environment, that want to fall out, shall we take it, Eight of Swords, do one more. Emperor. It's almost like an interviewing process. Let me find out about this emperor just to make sure that we are dealing with work. Emperor. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Ace of Swords. Cancers, I feel this can go either way. With the energies clarified in the Six of Swords. Probably because, too, overall in what I'm seeing in your read, there is one fast-moving energy right here. <laughs> this affection is moving fast in your energy. Fast approaching. This energy is a little... Well, obviously, it's Six of Swords. You can't speed along a Six of Swords. I always find Six of, of Swords paired with a Page of Pentacles. I mean, that's a promising opportunity, but it's so slow. A page, especially this combination. Page with Six of Swords. Oh. Um, especially Page of Pentacles. Because, you know, they're the most kind of timid. So also, too, because I would say the Pages of Pentacles or the, the pentacle suite, but in the pentacle form, they have the most to build on, right? They can be the most solid, which is also why it's the slowest. Eight of Swords also clarifies that along with Emperor. So this tells me that there is a big opportunity coming your way, but there's some hesitancy. I'd say hesitancy on... Is this an emperor the actual figure? Does this emperor refer to 
this king of swords does it refer to the six of cups energy i think it could be referring in general because we're talking about a change of perception even the six this this the eight of cups requires a change of excuse me the eight of swords requires a change of perception the six of swords as you are physically moving you are doing that change of perception as well all of these are changing your perception and the emperor here clarified by eight of cups and Ace of Swords, this is changing your perception as well. This Emperor energy is undergoing a metamorphosis, metamorphosizing into wanting to explore value but very hesitantly, wants to make sure it's the right steps forward. This could be you. This could also be the energy, the, the gains that are coming into your environment. I do feel that while this could be personal relationships, this also could be work. Could either be work, because also too, let me say that with the this life partner energy that I see here, with the King of Swords, this isn't hesitant energy. This is an energy necessarily arriving here. I feel this is building. This is coming. Likewise, I think what we're talking here is not the emperor of a life partner, but the emperor of achievement. The emperor of knowing your actions are right, and that's why you're taking the extra time slow. That's what the Six of Swords is. There's opportunity coming, but you're going extra slow, or the environment's going extra slow to make sure everything's done right. And let's see, what more? I'm going to throw a card on the Four of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Four of Swords, King of Wands. And I'm just going to go and run through these real quick and then we'll get into it. Page of Wands. Did we already have a page of. I think we. No, we had a page of Pentacles. Page of Wands to our Nine of Pentacles. The Fool. Four. Cautious. Temperance. The hero font. Eight of Wands. To our Eight of Pentacles. We had two eights in here, I believe. Full suite of eights. Ten of Swords. see what this magician is. Changing your perception. You are indeed changing your perception. With this Ten of Swords, magician, judgment, change perception. You, in temperance and Ten of Pentacles energy, all this is, is guarding your borders, guarding your boundaries. You be very particular and fussy about who you let into your circle. The other environment for you, or just, you know, excuse me, not the environment, your energy. Fool, clarified by four pentacles. You're open, but you're very skeptical and scrutinizing. Again, you're watching very closely being very discriminating about who you have who you allow into your personal space into your energy you know people people can feed off your energy just with a smile right just with a glance 
let alone if they're actually sitting and talking and let's say if they know some buttons that they can push there's all these other ways of feeding just like they could also go and say hey you know I did this really great thing check it out what do you think or I want to go over to this place or I did this or I did that or, or I don't know you know here's my <laughs> I just washed my dog <laughs> look how look how great she smells now right <laughs> I mean, there's all the, there's the positive ways that people in your circle can share and then there's also the negative ways I mean just like someone could go and say too if your family um, you know, look at this drawing that my kid did, as opposed to saying, uh, oh, I don't know. I mean, there's, you know, something more, more negative. I mean, there's support definitely in, in friendship, but I think with the cards here and also too with the perception changing there still is negative and positive vibrations to go and spread around. And it's one thing to acknowledge the negative vibrations, and it's another thing to keep reliving them, right? Keep holding on to them. When there's better things you can hold on to and rehash and repeat. Which I think is also here with a hierophant, clarified by the devil. checking your perceptions. I think it's also you watching your energy levels. But I see this all overall being very guarded, very discriminatory about who you have in your energy, who you allow to feed off of you. There's an opportunity coming for collaboration. Could be work. Shall we pull one extra card on this? Moon. You're working on your emotions. You're working on your emotional state. You're working on your perception of what you actually want to have happen in your in your own personal auric field. One other card I will mention as well. I see in your energetic field the fact that we have four of swords with king of wands you are not being hasty. You are not being reactionary. You are not responding to action just because it comes at you. You're going to take your time and deliberate. No one is going to get a knee-jerk reaction from you. Especially in this energy, no one will get a knee-jerk reaction from you. It will be carefully thought out and planned. And finally, I would say with our Four of Wands clarified by the Five of Pentacles, you see if it's related to money or work. Hmm. See how this Nine of Pentacles is aspected. Star. I think good news is coming into your household. People see your worth. We also have the Nine of Pentacles here, clarified by Page of Wands. I think you're getting work. Work offers are coming because you are confident. Your household may be a little lonely. Your finances may be a little tight. One or the other or both. Take it as it resonates. But you are a star. Your ability is noticed. Your foundation is solid. All right, Cancers, that's what I have for you. This is a general energy read for the last week of February. If this resonates, let me know. Do like or leave a comment. And if you'd like to subscribe, please do. <laughs> I'll put out more content from you for you. Uh, as well as I'll also go into the daily reads and see what's coming into your energy near term but this is just overall the flow the energy flow is what you can anticipate and expect as you move throughout your day throughout your week people come in and out maybe priorities change we'll see right cancer that's what's so exciting about energy it changes it builds it changes it moves it flows like water. 
Okay. Thank you for your time, and I'll be back with another video later. Bye.